all sold out. Wow. It's crazy that there's a hole. It's so empty. Quite suddenly, Pong Dang, to Pong Dang, Ani Pong Dang, Kundoda Dungeon. There's so many pink ones. I just want to try on all the pink ones. The mama on the set is long in the sang sang. Long era do gollum na bayo. Aya, aha. Arun arun gollya. Chami o chil hana. Aha, yeah. The book I need. It's how to draw cute chibis. Look how cute they are. You know, there's like a science to cuteness, like the ratio and the head size. That makes sense. Mm hmm. He's right next to greatest artist because and the Beatles, like he's arrived. Mm -hmm. Castles of the world. I need that. <laughs> I need a castle. <gasps> it's like high Q illustrated. Look at that. That's so it's, it's such a cool book concept and like artistic. What look at these editions. Okay. It's illustrated. <gasps> yeah, so I've seen that exact illustration. It's actually by this guy in the Victorian era, in like the late, I think like 1880s, 1890s who does these, but they colorized it. I use his illustrations a lot in my videos actually. Complete language of flowers. Ooh, I've seen this book online. I feel like everyone has a different language of flowers. It is. It's very, very true. Nuts. Symbolic meaning is stupidity. <laughs> that makes sense. Bailey's glasses are finally ready. It's true. Bailey can see now. <laughs> so Bailey has new glasses. Look at the case. Yeah, that case. <laughs> it is so cool. <laughs> yeah. It's fancy. So what happens when you get Swarovski glasses? I didn't even know they made glasses. I know, me either. Do they have jewels on them or are they just... No, they're lame. There were some with jewels though. Those That's... were the ones you were looking at. Oh yeah. Try it on the jewels. Did I tell you guys that I found out that I'm allergic to beeswax? I don't think they have my lip balm here. What on earth does it smell like? It doesn't smell like that. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Vanilla and cactus flower sounds pretty. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Hello. It's back on. Out of the other one. It's such a like a kid wrapped thing. It's not a snuggie. Oh, the pocket. That's so cute. just you and I always. wait for us to having sales on some of the stuff only online so I just ordered it online I'm gonna try to just bring it up to the front and be like here's my online order and see if they'll accept that so they actually appreciated that but like it's just gonna take 10 or 20 minutes or something for it to come through on their order system before they can check it out so yeah we're gonna look at the cats at PetSmart where we can hide our 
first place Forget the world outside Just for a while Some way We will be fine Safe place Just you and I Always I will wait for us to The other one's just taking a tubby still. Fluffy one! Hi, Fluffy! It's literally a little couch! Okay, so they're supposed to... Oh my word! Why is there a tarantula? And why are there fish? I have a weird fish phobia that's developed. Ooh, tiny fluffs. Nice. Where is the Syrian hamster? Is he in there? Oh, yeah. We have a little Alice style mouse. These oh, are the guys. Mouse. Oh, wow. They're a fancy mouse. This dog looks just like our friend's dog. Our friend's dog is slightly crazy. This is so cute. This is what our cats need so they can ignore it. Yes, they would so ignore that if we got that for them. But it's so cute. Our cats need this. I know. <laughs> this is for tiny kittens. Oh, our cats need to become cat models. Well, technically, one of our cats was kind of a cat model once. It got posted on some like cat food like Facebook page. I think it was Purina. Yeah. He was a cat model. I know. Like, despite me checking my email regularly, like, somehow I missed that the order was ready email. But it's ready. Okay, I'm back home, so, like, let's do a little bit of a haul. So, first up at Target, you guys already saw. So, I got Native Deodorant. I am obsessed with their deodorants. I have super sensitive skin. This is the only... Well, it's not the only brand. There's like maybe two other brands that like don't irritate it. But like I've gone through so many deodorants that do irritate my skin. So that's why I'm obsessed with them. I also really love, they always have like really unique scents. And so I got lilac and white tea. Now I am like scent sensitive and most of their scents don't irritate me. Occasionally I will hit on one that does. So I like smell this in store to make sure I'm okay with it. Like my last one was there coconut and vanilla and I was okay with that too so but I ran out of this then over at Ulta this is what I got so I got the peach and lily matcha pudding antioxidant cream you guys know how much I love peach and lily I feel like my two favorite beauty brands right now are peach and lily and then beauty of joseon so of the beauty of joseon dynasty cream I'm using right now so but this is like what I'm going to use when I run out of that because this is one of my favorite things ever. And again, if you have super sensitive skin, like Peach and Lily and Beauty of Joseon has just been amazing on my skin. But if you watch my videos for a while, you know, like my, I love the Milani supercharged under eye tint. So I got more of that. And then I think I got, that's just like, I tried to put it in the basket and it flew out. Okay. So I keep most of my makeup in this basket up here and I went and I just like dropped it in and it did that. Okay, so I also got the Chubby Stick from Clinique. This is a lip balm that's like tinted. I love it. I was starting to have like really dry lips as we went into winter and I was constantly having to do like my hack, which is of course just put liquid on your lips before applying the lip balm so it has moisture to trap him. I still love that hack, let me tell you. But like, then I was realizing it was my lipstick that was really drying out my lips. So I switched to using this. Now I get it in the color Super Strawberry. And yeah, it's like one of those products that looks like a giant crown, but I love it. So this is now like my number one go-to everyday lip product because it does not dry out my lips. That is what I got though. 
but now I'm just super hungry and also my mom and I have been watching this k-drama that is so good so it's actually called Dr. Cha it's currently up on Netflix and I'm obsessed we're like probably like nine episodes into it or something and like guys guys the drama like every time I watch a k-drama I'm like there's so much drama and then I'm like of course it is it's a k-drama but I need food and I need k-drama guys Okay guys, but did I show you that I completely took down my vision board? <laughs> so yeah, that's like a whole big other story I'm gonna have to tell you guys someday, but it's a mirror now again. I don't know if I'm gonna use it as a vision board again or like what my master plan is there. It was mostly one of those things where it's like just staring at it and I was like, I just don't think that a lot of stuff on here like really aligns with who I am anymore. I was having like an existential crisis, guys. So I took my vision board down. <sighs> yeah, we need to chat about that at some point, but I actually really just wanna put comfortable clothes on so I can be comfortable. I can watch K-dramas comfortably. There's the jammies! Jammy fit. I actually forgot to include this in my haul, but I also got a chocolate lollipop at C's. But now I just want to eat. Like, I usually save them for like emergencies in my bag. But also, I just want to eat it. <laughs> I should have gotten two and then I could have had an emergency one. Also, when I say emergency, I mean like low blood sugar emergency, not like real emergency or could just be a chocolate emergency. So there is a taxi driver in this show in like one scene that I'm like, I still just keep thinking about and it's just so funny. Right, so if you're watching Dr. Cha and you like get to a point where someone gets in a taxi and is like, follow that car, that is the scene I'm talking about. And I love the taxi driver and they're so important to the whole plot line, I'm convinced. Anyway, that's not the point. The other point is I was learning the other day of how to say, um, where you want to go to a taxi driver in Korean, which is apparently Kisanim is what you call them. Again, don't quote me on this because I can't speak Korean. I learned this from an app and I'm badly repeating it. Kisanim and then location of where you want to go and then Juseo, which is like a polite way of like, give me that or like I want that. Like, because from what I understand, if you were also like ordering coffee, you'd be like iced Americano Juseo, right? Or I even heard it's like ah ah Juseo, like iced Americano, that's like shortened ah ah. I don't know. Again, I don't speak Korean, but the point is, so I feel very like accomplished watching like the show now, whenever they call a taxi driver Kisanim, I'm like, I know what that means. I can tell a taxi driver to go to like um, somewhere <laughs> in Korean if I went to Korea. Ah, uh, uh, my story. Gotta, gotta get up now. Get up. Yeah. legit two vibes in a k-drama there's like the cute this is so happy and then like the heartbreaking shattering crying mode like those are the two vibes of k-dramas also i'm getting hungry again also here's a cat say hi <laughs> so i need a salad with chicken and then salsa that's like mango flavored and some like cut up dried mangoes
actually went to bed. So I'm now just gonna chill and watch Soul Walker, which is, you know, like my favorite YouTube channel. Um, because I don't wanna like get ahead of her in the K-trauma. I have to admit, I have done that before. <laughs> like where I'm like, I have to obsessively watch it. Oh, but no, like we're watching it together. I'm not gonna get ahead of her. I'm just gonna watch Soul Walker. Okay, so like before I started vlogging today, I actually bought something else, like kind of on Black Friday, Cyber Monday. But I'm kind of super excited about this, super anxious about. I don't know if I can actually open it. Okay, because here's the backstory. I need water first. Okay, so the backstory is I've been looking to get a new main vlogging camera, right? I've been using the Canon M50. Which, I mean, it's a great camera, but I was just looking to upgrade it, and it's like three years old. Its autofocus has been like really sluggish and like off lately. And so I was like, you know, I should look into getting a new camera because we you know they all go on sale. So originally I tried getting the Sony ZV-1 II. Um, <sighs> okay, so I returned it today. <laughs> And like when the guy was like, oh, why are you returning it? I was like, oh, uh, yeah, like it works fine. I just wasn't happy with the picture quality, right? He was like, I've heard it has a really great picture quality. Like that's what this camera is known for. And I'm like, it does good picture quality, but honestly, it is just not on the level I was looking for, which I should have known, but I was just like, I'm going to try something different. <laughs> so I returned that one and instead I got the Canon R8. So this is the Canon R8. And I have not actually like opened opened it yet. Because if you open it, like then they charge you a restocking fee if you return it. So like if I open this, like I don't really want to pay that. So I'm like, I better love it. But like, what if I don't love it? But I think I'm going to love it, which is why I got it. But like my anxiety, like guys, I have come to realize that I get like stressed out and anxious about so many things that I should just not be stressed out and anxious about. I don't know. Can I really open it? Like I wanted to open it and like charge it and get it all set up for like vlogging tomorrow so I can be like fresh vlogging with it tomorrow. But like I don't know why I'm having like this major anxiety attack right now. Because like what if I hate it? <gasps> what if I hate it guys? I don't think I'm gonna hate it because I did a ton of research and like I feel like really confident but I think the fact that I returned the last one is like undercutting my confidence right but like on the last one I felt kind of like unsure if I was gonna really like the Sony ZV-1 and in fact I was able to get like the open box ZV-1 Mark II so like it did not charge me a restocking fee when I returned that but like this one did not have an open box so what do you guys think I should do should I open it I like, I feel like really confident that I'm gonna love it, but like I'm still scared for some reason because it's a commitment and apparently I have commitment issues. Like legit, I don't think there'd be any other camera other than this one I would buy like at this point from the research I've done, like that's the camera. Like I've spent like practically like a week in like having multiple nights of insomnia researching what camera to get and that was the one. And now my cat's just sniffing it. Look at her. What do you think, baby? Should I open it? Do you want me to open it? I'm just gonna watch Soul Walker and rethink my life. I've never been this anxious. Actually, I'm this anxious on a regular basis. <laughs> my friend the other day was telling me that anxiety is actually a sign of high intelligence because it means you can think about all the stuff in the future. <laughs> and I'm like, great. So much intelligence is happening. <laughs> oh, Soul Walker. I, I should get the camera Soul Walker uses. Cause like, this guy is a true artist. Okay guys, I'm just like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Like, are we really gonna do it? No. Oh my word. Okay, so I was just like watching more TV, calming my anxiety down. But I have to say this, I've been getting more and more commercials for like fillers and Botox on YouTube, like 
all the time, like on a regular basis. And I'm like, first of all, I feel targeted, but also like, seriously, seriously, YouTube, like, seriously? Which I mean, like if people want to get those, that's fine. But I just think this constant, like almost like pushing it on me. I'm like, this can't be good. This can't be good for anyone's mental health. This is undercutting women's self-esteem and making them feel like they need to get this stuff. And I just think that's dumb. That's my official opinion. I'm absolutely exhausted now. <laughs> like I'm too tired to open it. I will just have to open it tomorrow, guys. My neighbors are gonna think I'm crazy. Oh, you guys, if you're funny in all shirts. This explains so much. Meanwhile, this guy's like, where's my food? And it's so funny. So I got this one. He just thinks he can sleep all his life. I don't know, deeper issues at play here, you know? Okay, guys, we're opening the camera. 